Hey guys, Jay here and welcome to part two of my Advent Children Cloud costume. So today I'm going to be doing the pants. So I'm not making pants, that'd be ridiculous, I don't, I don't need to do that. Um, I have a pair of black work pants here. These are just pants I had laying around that are black. What I'm doing with this is I'm going to be adding some black fabric to it and I might actually use a different fabric than this. This is the same fabric I used for the bag pouch thing that he wears. And it's such a different weave that I think I'm not gonna use this. Hold on. All right. So I've got this, this is a lot closer. It's not exact, but it's closer. This is just a, I have no idea. It's just a regular non-stretch bottom weight. And that's all I know. I don't remember what the tag said. And uh, I don't wanna look at the receipt because I already sat back down. So there's a yard here, I think. Yeah, I believe that's a yard. 36. Yeah, it's about 37 actually. They gave me about an extra inch. So yeah, I'm gonna be using this to make the pocket out of. So he has like a pocket on the side, like a cargo pocket. Um, it's more of a pouch that is belted onto his leg, but it doesn't move. So it seems like it's actually sewn down. Um, and this fabric, I think I'm gonna keep as is without doubling it up. So I'll make it so it's only two layers rather than two layers for a front and then two layers for a back and then sewing those together. Also this stuff right here, this is just some belting I got in the straps section. They have like the, the spools of different straps. Uh, this is, I don't know if it's cotton or polyester, but it, it seems like cotton. It feels like a cotton. And um, it's a one inch, I believe which will fit, no, it's a three quarter inch. Yeah, let me measure that again. Three quarter inch, yeah. So that's how big this is. So that'll fit in my buckles. And these buckles are just little, little buckles that I stole from my Sora shoes because I'm redoing the belts on those because they're too small. And I'm gonna use those for these. Um, on the bottom of his pants, he has a belt. It's like holding the front up a little, it's really weird. Um, so, and that has two buckles, so I'm gonna use these for that. On the belts, or whatever, that hold the, the, pou the pouch up to his pants, they don't look like they have buckles. I don't know if they do. I've not seen any pictures where you can see a buckle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it around and then just sew it, to sew it's tacked down, and it hangs off a little bit. So I'm gonna, you'll see when I get to that point. But that's what this is. So to start, we need to see how big the pocket's going to be, and I already put these on and pinned it and then took them back off. I don't know how well you can see this because I can't see into my camera thing because it's right up against my light. It's hard to see. <laughs> so uh, this pin up here, this is the waistband up here. So this pin is where the, the start of the pocket will be. This pin is where the bottom of the pocket will be. This pin is where the belt holding the pocket up will be or holding the pocket will be. And then he has another one that's under his knee that just doesn't have anything. It just tightens the pants around his, his calf, I guess. I don't know. And so that one's gonna go right here. So I just need to measure how big I need it. And that is five inches. So we're actually gonna go bigger than that because, well, you kind of have to. So I don't know how wide it's going to have to be. So I'm gonna make it really wide. So I'm gonna go with, let's say six inches wide. It might be too wide because it is more rectangular. That looks way too small. Oh, no, that's like seven inches. Oops, I was measuring wrong. That's seven inches. I don't know what the hell I was measuring. Yeah, no idea where I got five from, that's seven. Probably should have went a little higher than that actually, but whatever. And then fold this in a little bit. Take my clips here because these are the best way for me to sew into things. It's better than the pins, which I stab and scratch myself with, which I did last time. All right, and then I'll fold this over or try to fold it over. It's sort of working. It's fighting with me, but it's sort of working. All right, that does need to be a little bit bigger because it's going to be cut down by like quarter inch. So let me just see really fast and then I'll put it on there, put the pants on, and see if it looks right. So skipping ahead a little bit, I have now made two of these. Uh, well, I folded them up and clipped them together. 
and uh, they are roughly seven and a half inches tall by about six inches wide now. So I wanted them to be a little bit wider and then I made them slightly taller. So yeah, we'll go with that. Um, I'm gonna sew one of them up, put it on the pants and then see that way. And I'm gonna actually like really put it on the pants this time, like put a bunch of pins in there to make it stay in place where I want it to be. Anyway, we're just uh, working with the sewing machine. All right, so there's one pocket itself. So um, I can sew it down. I can hand stitch it going all the way down the sides and the bottom. And uh, when I put it on the uh, pants, I can just lightly stitch it and it doesn't have to be great because I'm not gonna put anything in these pockets. I gotta make the flap for this one though. So I gotta cut some more fabric and do that. But basically I'm gonna do this, this exact thing again on this one. And then I'm gonna do it in a smaller scale for the flap and I'll be right back with that. All right, so now I'm on to sewing the pocket on and I have actually put the straps on where they need to go. Uh, so I have, uh, I did do this off camera because it was easier for me to figure out where I could not have to worry about talking and everything uh, and I could just measure things out and keep changing into them to see where things fit. I really want to get a small buckle for these for on the back side. It would be nice but I just don't have extra buckles that match these. Uh, I'm gonna leave everything unsewn I guess. Um, the straps I'm gonna leave alone because I want to See if I can go find some smaller buckles that I can get a big set of like six matching ones. That way I can have the four I need for the bottom of the pants because there's two on each leg. And then I could do, actually I need eight because I'll need two for, so I'll need four for each leg, I'll need eight. So I need two for the bottom and then one for the under knee and then one for the one that holds the pouch up. Um, but for right now we can sew the pocket on and sew the strap with the pocket on here because I don't need to worry about that. So I'm just gonna do that now. So I'm very carefully moving the pocket on the inside, the actual pocket, because I will use this because that's where my phone's gonna go. Uh, so that I don't sew into that or into the back pocket because I'm gonna use that for my wallet as well. So it, make them, keep them practical, right? Why not? So I'm gonna follow the, the stitch that's on here as best I can. I can't even get this through here. Wow, this is going so well already. Let me let me try to use some pliers maybe. Got some needle nose pliers here. These are the only ones I have in my drawer. So everything else is in my other room because I've been fixing up camera stuff. So, uh, oh yeah, that won't even push through. Okay, that's not good. So I don't know what I can do here. This is bad. Because now this means that my pocket can't be sewn down to this. I'm going to go think on this, see if I can get some opinions from people, see if I can fix this. Okay, so it's been kind of rough. Um, I'm not going to be using these things that I made. But for some reason, no matter what needle I used, and I have all of this, and as you can see, I have this huge needle here. It's a leather needle, if I remember correctly. but. Even that wouldn't go through this. Nothing that I do will go through it. Even the pins have a hard time. My machine even had a hard time going through this. So I don't know what's happening, but I decided not to use that anymore. And I didn't want to go this route, but I used the same stuff as the bag and straps. So at least it kind of matches other parts of the costume. So there's that. I just, I really wished that I could use something a lot closer to the actual fabric of the pants because these are very clearly different. And when you look at them in person, I don't know how it shows up on camera because there's a light glaring at me, but this looks way off, but there's nothing that I can do about it because 
That's what I have and I'm not gonna go out and buy more. So, uh, I just made this to the size of the ones I already had. Uh, I'll show you guys sort of what I did here. It is sewn everywhere but the top, so it's sewn around the sides and the bottom. And uh, it's just hand stitched on. Uh, it is functional. I could put something in there if I really wanted to, but I'm probably not going to. But um, I got the straps on here. So I have these two straps. They're th these are actually different straps. There's one here that goes all the way to the back of this one. And then this one goes all the way around. So it's going all the way around to the back of here. It's only sewn in here and this one here. The other one isn't sewn in. Um, because I wasn't sure what I was going to do and I still want to get the buckles and if I can get the buckles then I don't have to worry about sewing the the back of the front one all the way around uh, and then I'll figure out how to do positioning and everything that way I'll be able to tighten it around my leg and just have it friction fit and then this one is doing that where it's all the way around so this one I also wanted to put a buckle on but this one I will have to sew down so I don't know how I'm going to do that yet but I'll figure that out. But that's basically it for now. Um, I'm gonna be making the flap out of this same linen fabric because I haven't done it yet, but it's gonna go on like this, obviously. All right, so it's been a few days and uh, I was trying out a few things for the straps portion of the pants because I have both of the pockets and the flaps sewn on, as you can probably see here. And as you can also probably see, uh, I have straps already on these. Uh, this is only on one side, but I noticed, okay, so this is a uh, vinyl strapping of some kind. Not 100% what you would call it or what it's even used for, but it's a strap that's, that comes by the, by the foot or whatever. And it's a three quarter inch wide. So the buckles that I had on here, these are the ones that I was using. And they're the ones that were on my old shoes for my Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora cosplay. They also came with these little square ring things. I believe we got these off of purses and there's two square rings because I believe we got two purses and it was like this was on one side of the strap, this was on the other side of the strap, and then there were like two more of these buckles on there or something. Uh, or we found something with matching buckles, I don't remember. But we found them at Goodwill, I know that for sure, the Goodwill that's over by my house. And uh, so I only have two of these ring things here, these square rings. Well, as it turns out, um, I'm gonna post a picture up here, but um, it's probably hard to tell. So there'll probably be arrows pointing at them. But on the back of his pants where the straps connect, there are two connection pieces. There's a buckle of some kind, it's a square, and then one of these ring things. And that's on every strap. So there's two on his legs, one under his knee and one over his thigh that holds the bag up or quote holds the bag up anyway. It looks like it's supposed to. Uh, but on the back of there, it looks like there's uh, one ring, one square ring and one uh, buckle, one square buckle. So I need one, two, three, four, six of each. So I need six rings and six buckles. I don't have that. <laughs> so. I went ahead and bought some. So these are a little bit bigger. These are an inch, but they're also like an inch and a quarter wide. They were square on the picture, but what I got was rectangles. So, uh, oh well. Um, I didn't realize that I only got five in, well, I have four here, but I got five in three different colors. So I got five of silver, five in dark silver or iron or whatever, and then um, five in brass. And so I didn't have six. So my solution was to use buckles. So I have buckles. So there's, I have eight. I bought two packs of four and it comes with four silver. I picked silver on purpose because obviously I wanted to match the rings that I had. So these are the same width. Uh, here we go, this way. So they're both about an inch. They're like very slightly bigger than an inch. And then what I'm going to use, which is bias tape, is very slightly smaller than an inch. There's nothing I can do about that, but I'll just go with what I have and make it work. So I'm gonna do it like where it's one ring and then one buckle like this. But I can't do that down here where the, where the straps on the bottom of the pant leg, which they pull the pant leg up in the front. I don't know why, but Nomura has really stupid designs, but um, that, cause that doesn't make sense. Nobody would do that with their pants but I guess Cloud does. So I needed another one for here. 
So I need exactly six of these because that's how many there are. But I also need six of these, these little rings. I don't have six rings. Like I said, I only have five. So I used four of those. And I took two of the buckles and snipped out the middle piece, the little bar in the center that has the, the buckle on it. So it has the little bar and the pin on it. I just uh, used, uh, I don't even have them up here anymore, but I used um, wire cutters. You know, the, or you could probably use tin snips or something else that's better, but that's all I have. My tin snips are hidden somewhere. I have no idea where they went, but um, these are close enough. So I'm gonna use these um, and they're gonna go like in place of down here. I'll put one of these here and then one of the buckles here. So this will go this way. So make those match. It doesn't really matter because this will be covered, but they'll, I'm gonna make them like this so that it's correct now. But these will match. It's harder to see the ones on the back, so it won't be that jarring that these are different than these because they look very obviously different. Nobody's gonna see all of that at the same time, so it won't matter. So I'm going to, uh, I know exactly how far up I need this to go, so that doesn't matter to me. It needs to be 15 and a quarter inches uh, up the leg. So I already know that. I don't need to keep any of these safety pins in there right now. And I only kept this on here so that you could see the difference, but you can see this is jarringly different. That's how I put it. It's jarringly different. Like it looks like it doesn't belong. And if you look at his outfit, it looks like they're made of the same material as the pants, which I mean, the pocket should be too, but that didn't happen. So we're not working with that. Um, so I have to take these off. Oh, get the other one off of here. Then take this off of here. And the reason I'm taking these off like this and not cutting anything is uh, I wanna measure them because I wanna make sure I get the right measurements. And I'm going to be using bias tape. So this is just a uh, double fold bias tape. So what that means is that uh, it's one big rectangle and then the, the long edges are folded in and then it's folded in half. So that's what double fold is. Uh, and then, so I have a bunch here. I have these scraps. These are from the original one that I made. I did originally do this out of these and wasn't too happy with them, but they're gonna have to work because I don't have anything else. The only other belting I can find is that nylon strap stuff that you would see like the nylon webbing. And that's not what I want. So I'm not gonna use it. However, I don't think I can use any of this actually for now. Um, so to make the long one, I think, yeah, I'm gonna have to open a new pack. So I got two packs. So this is what it is for anyone that's wondering. I don't know how well this will be in focus. This camera here auto focuses, so I don't know how well it'll show you, but it is the, so there's a number up here. This will tell you which uh, number, I guess, but this is the model down here. So the number is 706031 and the number down here, which is basically the, the style number or model number is PC706. And that's all numbers. I say O, but I mean zero for all those. So, but it says double fold bias tape quilt binding. So this would be stuff like you'd put around the edge of like a, a quilt, I guess. Uh, stuff like that. Um, you can use them for trim on your jackets for your cosplay. That's what I usually use them for. I use the smaller ones. I used 702, I think, PC 702, if I'm not mistaken, or 206, no, 206. So that's the one I use normally. It's thinner than this one. Uh, I think it's like a quarter inch, but it's also double fold, same thing. But, uh, so I gotta figure out exactly how much I need. And uh, this is almost perfect. So I'll just like cut a little bit more than what these are. And then that'll give me a measurement to go off of. This one should be correct. So I'll just cut this one to this longer one that goes under the knee to the size that I have it because where the pin hole is for it is basically perfect. Um, but I do know that I need to add some space for one of the rings. So I need to put a ring in here somewhere like this. So it'll be a buckle, a little bit, and then a ring. I just need to figure out exactly where that needs to go. I think it'll go so it's this way then it'll wrap around the leg so this would be like the front going around to the back and then it'll loop around to the front again i think that's how it goes it's really impossible to see uh so 
I have no idea. But it also might be this way, where it's going around like this, and then there's a piece here that's like this, and then that goes through the thing. That could also be, but I think that goes too far. No, okay, that could work actually. So if this was the back of my leg, uh, let's say my right leg, this was the back of my right leg, it'd be this, then it would go through here. That could actually work. Okay, I'll do that. So I need to know exactly, okay. This is gonna take a little bit of uh, adjustment. That's why I got two packs of this, so I have enough. So uh, some of these I can use for the bottom down here. So I'll work on that when I get to it. But for now, let's move this stuff out of the way a little bit and uh, let's figure this out. So I will make this a little longer than it needs to be. So I'll add some length to the edge there where you probably can't even see, but the edge with the buckle on it, I'll add some length there just so I have extra. And then I will go down this way. That should be more than enough because I'm only adding, what is this like, not even an inch. Like uh, it's a little more than three fourths of an inch. That's all I'm adding. So I need to figure out where everything is going to go. So I need to uh, first figure out where to put a buckle, which will be just right up at the beginning there. And this is just a hole punch. So just use, yo, that was almost exact, sweet. And then I'm just gonna thread this. All right, and we've got a belt. I'm gonna cut the excess shorter there because you don't need that to be that long. And bam, belt. Put this one back together so we can do measurements on this one. Want it to be roughly there. I will, since I'm not using this one, I can take a marker, mark where I want that to go. That'll probably wash off too. Yeah, it just starts to come off on your hands. So I can do that. And then that will tell me where I want it to go on this piece. Mark that on the back with a blue marker. Now this is light enough and it's gonna be not seen anyway that I can do that. And then I also re-threaded my needle, which is now getting tangled up. Crap, I'm probably gonna have to re-thread this again. So this one, I'm actually putting the thread right up against the, or as close as I can anyway. Uh, to the ring here because I want it to have a tight hold on it so that it doesn't like shift around because as you can see it could shift like this or something and that could happen if it's too big of a hole. Also his looks like that. It's very hard to tell in the pictures but if you like enhance the lighting and stuff on it you can actually see that it's stitched up really close like this. All right so there's part of it right there. So that'll go about that far, I guess, on the leg. And then I can take the rest of this. This one, I'm gonna keep the thing pretty close here. You can see it's really short. Well, I don't know if you can see, I can't tell. But uh, it's really short, it only goes to there. So I'm gonna be very careful when I'm sewing that on. Obviously, get some clips to help keep it together because why would you not do that? And then, so that'll be on like that when I'm done sewing it. Not gonna do that again on camera, don't need to see that. And then I'll do this. I'll figure out exactly how I, how far away this needs to be from the, like from the, the ring uh, to be able to buckle and stay on my leg. And then um, I'll put a hole in here with the hole cutter again, the, the hole punch, and then that will thread through and it'll be done. So that'll be it. And then it'll be like this when it's on my, when it's on my right leg, this will be the back. It'll be like this and it'll go through and hang down just like it does on his. All right, so I think I'm gonna end this here um, because there's not a whole lot else that I can do. I mean, I'm not done yet, but I have finished one side as you can probably see by the other camera. So one side is completely done and sewn together and all good to go and the other side isn't. Um, so let me see what time it is actually because that's relevant. Don't know if you can see that. It's 8.14 right now. I started this, the last thing that I did where I had all my uh, buckles and everything um, and I was talking about, that was around noon-ish or 1 p.m. ish, somewhere around there. 
I just finished this one side. It's been around eight hours. I stopped to eat for like a half hour and then helped somebody with something for like 10 minutes. And that's it. The rest of the time was doing this. So it's been roughly eight hours and I've only got one side done. So um, I'm just gonna end it here because I don't wanna do another eight hours and then have to film something else. So it's not gonna look any different anyway. You won't even see this side. This is the left side that's not done. And when the costume's on, that's covered by the bag anyway. So you won't even see it. It's just because I want it to look accurate. Honestly, you don't even have to do this side. The bottom where it has the thing, this still has the old one on it and I have to, it's just pinned on there. So I just have to unpin it. Other than this one, which will peek out from the bottom of the bag, you won't even see the rest of it anyway. So there's no point in me filming doing all of that. Also, the rest of this was just like the first thing that I did, which I think was this one right here, the, the one that goes around under the knee. I believe that's the one I was working on earlier. But um, yeah, so I'll show you. Uh, actually, I'll do it while I talk because um, I'm gonna talk like this so that I have time to show you the stuff that you're seeing now and have some time to fill. So yeah, there's gonna be some better quality footage that has like slow-mo or whatever else that shows what they look like front, side, and back. Um, and I gotta keep talking just in case to make sure that I have enough room here to have that show up. So that's why I'm rambling. So this is pretty difficult in terms of measurements because it was just a chore to measure for this thing. So like these ones, especially the ones at the bottom of the pants, uh, I had to actually undo them so you can kind of see where they were stitched just barely, but um, I had to undo them and then move them up further. Also, I used this, it's called Fray Check. Uh, it's also called Fray Block or whatever. That's actually another brand. Um, it stops the edges from fraying. Um, that stuff is used on all of the edges. So I also didn't tack this top one down all the way. I only tacked it down really close to the, to the, to the thing that I put there um, because it looks like it comes up like this. Uh, on like it looks like it's not tied down all the way or sewn down all the way onto the pants So that's just like an aesthetic choice that I made and then so I did that fray check on all of these Edges and these ones I just rounded off and then did that but I will need to cut them because they are way too long But I'll figure that out later. Uh, I have to look up pictures and stuff. Um, I'll be doing the shirt and the uh, armor coming up soon uh, so not the I think, yeah, the next video might be the armor because I think this was after my last tutorial. I don't, I don't remember when this is all going up. But yeah, so the armor will be its own tutorial and this is not the shirt I'm gonna be using. I need to get new ones because I only have two of these and one is a backup just in case something happens to this one at a convention or something or one or the other. Um, and then I wanna get ones that I can make into the Advent Children one and then have a backup of that as well. So I wanna buy like two of those that I'm gonna alter. And um, if I can find one, then those will be their own video too. But for now, that's going to be it for this video. If you'd like to go ahead and give it that thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later.